So I know a lot of people pay attention to the quarterback hammer slots, all those guys, which are important, but you're right. We've got a lot of experience coming back at offensive line and on the defensive line. And uh, that excites me because I, most people don't understand how big a deal being good up front is. And so, yeah, we got four or five stars back. And so they're definitely the core that's going to lead us on both sides of the ball. And uh, we're pretty excited about what we're seeing up there. It's the first time since 2015 that you have a non-senior quarterback this year. And uh, that's uh, that's got to be Luke Newcomb. Yes, uh, that's, that is different. Um, and I'm not opposed to younger guys being quarterback. Just we've had a run of dudes that the guy in front of them was just a little bit better, but by the time they were a senior, they were the best option. And, and I do tend to trust seniors a little more because they've invested three years and, and they understand this is their last shot. But uh, when a junior is the best guy, then you're with the junior. Uh, Luke, so he's a pretty good blend of, of being able to run the ball. He's a strong physical runner, uh, but he's also got a strong arm too. And so when you get those two things together in a quarterback, that gives you a lot of options. Typically, we will not have a freshman on our varsity football field. Uh, unless they are the best option. And we got some freshmen this year that are uh, pretty talented and they're also really hardworking. They're really focused, learning everything they're supposed to. And so, uh, I mean, when they're the best option, that's what we roll with. A veteran guy, Shane Pruitt, on both sides of the ball that can help you. A leading tackler coming back from defense. Yeah, and Shane, has he was a solid player last year, but with what he's done this offseason and so far this summer, I think he could be dominant this year. It's going to be interesting. We... It, there's so much inexperience that honestly I don't know for sure who's gonna like really step up um, but it really will be made more of a team effort this year so some years we've had like one or two standouts on on either side of the ball but this year it's gonna be a collection of, of really the 11 out there and, and how cohesive we can be yeah the, the GAC Central some years has been a little bit of a weaker conference but we expect a whole lot of tough games this year and uh, you know they're all winnable but they're all losable and so we got to come ready to play every single week Thank you.